to you today, Jackson? English and math. Today's math was the easiest. So this, I have to check which figure is which. This one is supposed to be a triangular pyramid. That is not a triangular pyramid. Because I know what a triangle is. Uh, you mean a rectangle. rectangle. Yeah. Hexagonal prism. That's more like a pyramid, but that's not a pyramid. Oh, right. Weird. Also, I love this one because I had to fix, fix them and get the parts that are missing. Well done. Qu'est-ce que tu fais aujourd'hui, Evelyn? Mm -hmm. What are you up to? We have to find the, the food that matches and put them in the right order. Um, they show you so you know which one is which. Right. What's the first group you already did? What are these? Apples. You saw les pommes. Can you say pom? Pom. And what are the shapes you're doing right now? What what fruit is that? Can three? It's it's usually pineapple. People said it no. That that's not in the French room. But but when you say it in French, they say it differently. I don't no. know. What's the word in French? It's an enough for these. Bravo. Ready lunch. Ready when you What do we need in here? And some mayo. What are you doing? Are you eating the snow? Carolyn, what are you doing? Is there ice right there? Hi, Dad! Yeah, a little bit of ice. Good morning and welcome to Alonewood Forest Homeschool. Welcome! So today, if you saw the thermometer, it is quite warm. It is just a little bit shy of zero degrees Celsius, which makes it quite warm. And as typical, I've got a kitty cat wanting attention. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Yes, we have very social kitty cats. <laughs> Which I've been told is quite odd that most people they say their cats just run and hide which ours does not and perhaps it's because they're used to the chaos of many children I don't really know <laughs> but I think we're lucky to hmm hello <laughs> have such affectionate kitty cats that actually like us and want to be around us hello <laughs> so my question for you today is do you have pets at your house do you have pets care as part of your homeschool? Is that a chore that you have for your kids to teach them responsibility? It certainly is for us, the oldest two. Uh, my son Jackson feeds them at night and my daughter Brooklyn feeds them in the morning. That's part of their responsibilities. And we've done that because we believe it teaches them character, how to care for other things and all that good stuff. But what do you do? Oh, what are you eating now? Oh, an icicle. I suppose that's okay. Carolyn, are you eating icicles? You silly. Hey guys, tell me what you're matching over here. Your story sounds amazing. So, we're inventors. Okay, turn and look at me so I can hear you. And we're in a game. You're inventors in a game? Yeah, it's like a game, like a 3D game. Okay. And the point is, if you win the game, you get to have $1,000. It's animation. 
Oh, is so he like trying to beat levels and stuff? Yeah, you're basically trying to survive for 10 years in here. In a game oh. where there's no tools, no nothing. And you start with the stuff you bring to the animation ray. Oh, so it's like a survival game. Yeah, but you don't die in it. Right, cool. Very neat. You just go back to the... You just come back and you don't win the dollars. You're fine. So you invented... The game you invented is a virtual, you're pretending you're in a virtual reality game, is that yeah, right? Yeah, for 10 years, actual 10 years. Right, but you win money, like real money, or just like virtual money? Real money. Whoa, very cool. $10,000? Cool. $10,000, not just a thousand? Wow, what do you think of that, Brooklyn? I thought we should like win money. Like I thought we should just make like a hundred or two hundred. And that's our house. This is our house we made to live in. And the level we just did was beat tigers and run away. Oh, cool. Yeah, I just think some of the inventors there running away. Cool. So the point is you have to be smart and strong. I like it. Beautiful and you have to idea. eat a lot of food. You hear an airplane? Oh, a bird! Wow. Look at the bird! Did you see a bird? Bird! Oh, and who's this? Hello, kitty! Kitty, meow, meow! Meow, meow, kitten! And because there are hawks and owls and coyotes and other such things in our neck of the woods, we only go outside with our kitties. So they're not allowed outside at night. They're not allowed outside without us. When we go outside for our hour or however long we can spend outside, we go. They, we allow them to come out with us. And as you can tell, they're always around us. So we're good protection for them. And, and maybe they know that. Maybe that's why they hang out with us so much. I don't know. You hear that bird? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Gerlin. Yay! Well, she played with it briefly. These are our frozen um, ice blocks, I called them. <laughs> anyway, they kind of got stuck in the snow. We had lots of snow, lots of freezing rain. And Carolyn was playing with them. Now she's decided to climb on this upside down sled. Hey, child. <laughs> oh, goodness. What are your plans here? What are your plans for this? I'm just eating it. Oh, Carolyn Yuckies! You're eating everything today. People will think we don't feed you. Yuckies! Yuckies! Hi! Hi! And here they are back inside. Hey guys! Yeah, we bring them in when we come in. And if you wondered where Magdalene was, hi, sweetie. You were sleeping. Are you awake now? Are you a happy girl? Are you happy now? Yay! Time to get up. Our time for today.